Um, good morning everybody. Um, thank you to all my 31 subscribers. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And if you hit the bell, you will be notified of any um, future videos that I do. Today I have a message um, and it's quite controversial. It's from my guides and I've been asked to um, speak about it. So I will speak about it. It is about the World Economic Forum and um, their mantra of you will own nothing and be happy. This is a big topic. There is a lot going on right now um, all over the world. There are things coming in through the back door that none of us voted for. Um, so let's have a little look at, at what the tarot has to say about the energy of now. Now, I cannot say this will happen and that will happen. I can tell you what the potential is um, and the outcome is dependent on the um, decisions and the actions of 7 billion people around the world. I have divided the mystical, uh, the Tarot of Mystical Moments by Catherine Belt Stein into Major and Minor Arcana and I will be looking at the um, tar uh, the Oracle of Mystical Moments for advice. Right, so let's get, get on with it and pull a card. What is happening with us right now? What, what is going on with the people right now? Okay, that's three with that was three. Which one? Put that to one side a minute. That one. Not that one. And that one. So there's two. So the first one I'm going to pull out is the the one that's the hottest for us. What's happening with the people? And we have the emperor in reverse. In this case, we would be the people. So the emperor itself is the people. I've asked about the people. Now, the emperor, as the people living in democracies, where a lot of us live in democracies, these people on the strings would be our politicians, the leaders of our, our um, countries who serve us. They serve us. We vote for them to serve us. They are our servants. It came in upside down. Right now, we are serving them. The tail is wagging the dog right now. Okay? We elect them. We are the ones with the power. Right now, we have. We are, are beginning to lose power. The tail is wagging the dog. I keep hearing this. The tail is wagging the dog. We are no longer the ones who decide what happens to us. Or it, right, they are still on strings. So this is swinging in the balance, actually, swinging in the balance as to whether it remains so that we are being, uh, we are, we have relinquished our right to. Um, decide who serves us in Parliament and who leads us. And the second card is this one. Um, we have the Hierophant. Now the Hierophant is the one that in my head I wanted for what's happening with leadership. The Hierophant is um, traditionally known as the Pope. And traditionally, the Pope was the head of the church. And traditionally, the church was the most powerful thing on the whole, in, in the Western world. The Pope was the um, human representative of God. He was God on earth. Hierophants can also be teachers. We have the Hierophant here very much larger than life. Reading out 
instructions and uh, and the, we are there listening to the instructions um this isn't this is this isn't feeling right at all this is not feeling right at all right now the tail is trying to wag the dog <sighs> so let's get uh, a minor alcoholic ball Four, what is happening with the people? Why are the people, why is why is the balance of power being shifted right now? What is happening? Oh, here we go. Right, we've got the Ten of Swords. The reason why the balance of power is shifting, we are the people, is because our heads are being filled with stabs we are being that we are being poked at from all sides media the news television radio newspapers politicians and other people's opinion and eventually when <sighs> You've been stressed enough. The hope here is that we will acquiesce. That we will acquiesce and give up. So what's happening now is that we are being given information and more and more information. It's been scary information. This has not just been going on recently. This has been going on way beyond the last two years of scare tactics. And you know, COVID, pandemic, death, possibility of death, mandates, um, freezing your bank account, all these kinds of, all these threats, these are threats. Being threatened from all sides, eventually it's human nature to acquiesce. We have not acquiesced yet, but this is, this is the, um, this is um, the logic behind this tail wagging the dog or trying to wag the dog and I had another one what's that one that one that one that's one and we've got the two of pentacles so on the authority side we've got the two of pentacles this has not this this tail wagging the dog is not complete it is not complete and the reason why it's not complete is because we've got the powers that be precariously standing on a um, on a precipice, if you like, juggling, juggling, trying to stay on top. There's an infinity sign here. If they are successful, this. You will own nothing and be happy will become something that lasts a very long time, if not for the rest of um, living memory. And then is it this one? Is it this one? I can't see what they are. They're, up, they're face down. Um, at some point I will try and um, work out the technology of being you've been able to see me and the cards at the same time so you can tell that what's coming out is this one so the overall potential for this situation is the eight of swords this is us in a cage we have wings but we are not free in order to become free it takes a decision to set ourselves free we have wings wings symbolize freedom but we are not free we think we are we told we are but we are not free and we haven't ever really been free and it takes the collective to decide to lift the lid there is a small window of opportunity. There is a small gap with which we can do this. Because 
I've got this huge sense that if we do not come together, if we do not decide that who that we would like like to remain um, sovereign, that we would like to remain in a position where we elect people to serve us and not the other way around. We have a small window of opportunity. But that takes more than one person to decide this angel here represents all seven billion of us or the majority of the seven billion of us. Whether we break free or not is something that will remain to be seen. But the potential right now is there. And the question is, will you change this? Are you brave enough to change this? Um, some people in history have been the one voice in the darkness and they have put their neck on the line in order to change what is unjust and we have one out for the oracle card what is the advice i'm not looking at it yet what is the advice for us and we have listen the advice is listen rather than listening to the stress the anxiety the shit that's being thrown at us, the worries, the um, virtue signalling, the false narrative. Listen, listen to your soul, listen to your gut. Don't be repeating what other people have said uh, as if it's your opinion. Don't be repeating what you've heard on the news as if it's your opinion. Don't be arrogant enough to think that the information coming at you um, is all true. Do your own research. Listen. Listen to the peace. Listen to your soul. Because what your soul needs is for you to listen to it. Shall we have another one? Is there going to be an outcome? And if we listen, if the majority of us listen, what will be, what is the potential for us if we stick together? You see, the thing is, you will own nothing and be happy is all well and good if the top 1% also own nothing. Or is the, the rest of us will own nothing while the top 1% still live in luxury and what is the outcome transformation now transformation is 26 it's a nine we've got a butterfly on the dress butterflies symbolize transformation if we listen she's got her hand on her heart listen to your heart try and block out the shite that we are being told not all of it is rubbish but do your own research and you'll be able to weed out the wheat from the chaff listen to your inner voice listen to you what you really think regardless of everything that's coming at you from all sides if we all take some time to listen to what's in here we can change it and it may well be that it some point we will all own nothing and be happy it may be we may find at some point that we will all live together in harmony since when be a nice change but it takes for us to change it and we cannot change unless we change ourselves unless we stop look listen 
see behind the rhetoric. Have a look at what's already happening. We've got social credit systems in democracy being brought in through the back door. We've got people going to prison for exercising their, their basic rights. We've got people having their bank accounts frozen. We've got people in this country who have been told, elderly people, who have been told that they will not receive their housing benefit unless they've taken a Ukrainian refugee. Now, I'm not saying that's a good thing or a bad thing, but there's a lot of considerations to make there. The, you know, it's like... There's some authority right now. The authorities, some authorities right now, have forgotten that they serve us. The tail is trying to wag the dog. I've got two out and I want to know which one it is. This one. So, just to finish off. Going the extra mile to achieve your dreams and putting in some overtime will reap big rewards. Now is the time for you to act, to stir up some energy and put those plans into action. There are many windows of opportunity that open but close quickly when you don't take the risk and go for it. What was the saying about a window of opportunity? Today, be confident that your hard work will pay off and you'll feel that satisfaction and fulfilment of reaching your desired outcome. It might turn out even better than you expected. Isn't that amazing? Remember, however, much work you're willing to put in will match it. Oh, however, however much work you're willing to put in, we will match it tenfold on our end. Everyone over here is rooting for you to win the game of life, so just do it. Going the extra mile to achieve your dreams. Now, if your dreams are to revert back to um, prior to two, three years ago, it takes energy. It takes a decision. It takes confidence. It takes bravery. And if you want more cooperation, if you want more coherence, if you want less chaos in the world, it takes some brave souls to step forward and open their mouths and unashamedly speak up. We have been manipulated to the point where most of it, a lot of us don't know any longer which which end is up and that's because the tail is trying to wag the dog now if the collective decide we decide that yes we would like to own nothing and be happy then we'll see how that plays out you know i'm not saying it's a good thing or a bad thing i don't actually have an opinion on it what i'm saying is um, it's the way it is being brought in that the people who we elected to serve us have forgotten that they are our servants. And if we don't pull them up on it, um, that cage door will be shut and it will be locked. Have a great Sunday and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Ta-ra.